Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to have another video and some more time to spend with all of you sharing some inspiration. We have some beautiful items from two different artists that are consigning their work with me. Um, our dear Lonnie, who is also one of my suppliers, and then Elizabeth Chisholm. Excited to see her work, plus a few things that I've made. So we have a fun and full video. We're going to start with one of Elizabeth's journals here, this Peacock one. These are all available in my shop for sale. You can find the link in the description box below. Look at those royal colors. Gorgeous peacock. It says documented. I love the peacock feather charm. Two signatures with it looks like a mixed media cover. So that's really fun. And this is called Be Colorful and Bright. She's used some of my digitals. Uh, pretty as a peacock. Periwinkle blooms and grungy ombre florals. And you can also find all of those printed or digitally on my website. And all items shipped in the United States have free U.S. shipping. So you don't want to miss taking advantage of that. <clears throat> so we have some great colors. Look at these dyed papers. They're beautiful. This is grungy ombre florals. Periwinkle blooms. Look at how pretty the dyed mixed media pages are. Very gorgeous. So many colors. Oh, look at that. It's not just peacocks. There's a lot of nature, and I see some, like some hummingbirds and some other birds, some insects. These gorgeous dyed papers. Just beautiful. I wish you could feel them too. They feel wonderful. It's definitely a journal made to write in. If you wanted to, lots of space for that. Start each day with purpose. That's from Grungy Ombre Florals. Look at those peacock feathers. This is Ink Saver Bouquet Script. So there's no background color, so you could print it on whatever you wanted. Um, Industrial Hum. It's one of my hummingbird kits. Oh, we have a secret pocket. Fun little print. Got it. Oh, a secret pocket with a vellum. So it's see-through. Whatever you put in there, you'll be able to see. So it's not so secret, I guess. Little envelope. Look at that gorgeous this paper is got a belly band very beautiful so that is the peacock one um and then we have this one look at that cover it's all pieced together gorgeous This is called In Grandma's Truck. I see a truck here, or a car. Vintage antique papers and lace, public domain, and Artie Mays. Fun. So just kind of a vintage-inspired journal with some gorgeous... Vintage bits here, Latin grammar. Lace, oh, pretty. I'm half listening. If I sound quiet, I'm half listening. My six year old is home from school this afternoon. He had a field trip in the morning that I went with him on, and we went to an apple orchard to see how they made apple cider and how they picked the apples. And then we went out to lunch and did a little shopping. And now I'm home trying to finish up my work. And he's out there uh, playing. We'll have to go get the other boys in a little bit from school. So I'm just, oh, I love that. Half listening to see if he needs me or not. So if I go quiet, please pardon me. 
little fabric tag, T a tuck. Love the vintage vibe of this. Our little bulb pin is open. So this says brave. Beautiful. Lots of texture to this gorgeous one. Very, very pretty. We'll look at the next one here. Look at this is so cute. And what's really neat. Let me open this up the collage this cover is collaged you could be run your hand over it you can actually feel it collaged up little postcards and envelopes there's a beautiful paper doll pieced together on there two signatures this is all collaged as well it's absolutely beautiful and this is called all dolled up Wisteria and Roses, Wisteria and Hydrangea, and Ink Saver Bouquet were some of my digitals that she used. Well, this is from Book Love. That is one of Joanne's digitals, and you can find that on um, Junk Journal Treasures on Etsy. Almost lost it there for a minute. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Here's Wisteria and Roses. How pretty. It looks like she uh, photocopied some of her collage, too, and then used it as the pages. Oh, look at how clever. So I was telling you about the um, Ink Saver bouquet script here. And then she printed it over that collage she printed. Very inventive. How pretty. Oh, look. Little tucks. Little bits. But it's a belly band. A nice big journal card tucks right back in there. A little cute pocket there. So pretty, the colors. She has some uh, ribbon on some of the edges. Oh, and this is a fabric lining. How beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I know somebody's going to enjoy this. This is not a journal you see every day. Very fun. And then she sent me a little thank you. Wow. Thank you. Gorgeous. How sweet. I appreciate that. All right. And this is the last one from her before we look at Lonnie's. Look at what she did there with the umbrellas. There's gold thread stitched around each one. It looks like the umbrellas might be die cuts that she's pieced together. Look at that. And then on the back, there's a little pocket with some paper. That's fun. The edging. And it's called Rainy Days with Emily. Featuring poetry of Emily Dickinson. Wow. Oh, I love that little parts of her poems throughout. It's just a little eclectic vintage journal. God made me a little gentian. It tried to be a rose. Just little parts of her poetry. And all these beautiful, I dwell in possibility. Dyed papers, vintage papers, gorgeous collage tag. A little Kate Greenaway paper. Was the slightest in the house. I took the smallest room. At night, my little lamp and book in one geranium. Definitely wonderful for a poetry lover. It could be a great place to write your own poetry. Probably I would use it for a daily type to-do journal. It would bring me lots of inspiration look at all that these little vintage papers oh i love it love the umbrella theme very neat okay 
So then Lonnie sent us a few goodies to look at as well. This is an ephemera holder. She constructed it from repurposed book that was covered with upholstery fabric and sorry, silk, ribbon, closure. The pages were made using craft cardstock covered with book pages. Wow, look at this. I love ephemera folders. I still have to show you all my collection um, and I actually have at least one from Lonnie. So I don't have this style, but I have one she made. Look at how pretty that cover is. I just keep them in a little cubby near where I work so I can grab them. They're wonderful because you can just, oh, we have an, a top loading pocket maybe. Yep, there's some ephemera in there. There's a little booklet there and you have a pocket. You have these little clear pockets. Look at the, there's little labels, little whale tail punches different stickers and postage stamps, washi stickers. You can just flip through and you can pick what you need for your project. And then as you have extras, you just stick them in the pockets and they're ready to go for your next project. I have used quite a bit, if not all, not all, but <clears throat> most of the items in the ephemera folder she sent me. And then I just use it to tuck in more items. This is nice and heavy made. Definitely perfect for keeping near your craft space. I don't think you can ever have too many ephemera folders. <laughs> Excuse me. Still having problems with my voice. Oh, this is gorgeous. Let's see. Clutch with journal and ephemera. Repurposed book covered with fabric and designer cardstock. She, um, it was inspired by a class by Tracy Fox. And I've seen these before. They're beautiful. Look at that. This is just to, to protect it in shipping. So here's your little clutch. And then there's little ephemera pieces. Lots of ephemera, and then it looks like we have, I don't know if this is a journal. We will find out. Nope, it's, it's an ephemera holder. Oh, I love that. Lonnie, that is fantastic. Stunning. And then the journal must be the other one. It's everything you need to start playing in a journal. It's perfect for travel because you can put everything in here. This must be the journal, I think, maybe, yes, oh, how pretty, look at that, isn't that pretty? It's just a simple coffee dyed journal that you can decorate right in, it says just one life, beautiful, what a beautiful set, that blue paper. And then, of course, you can reuse this to store whatever you need to. I'll just leave that there to protect it, but you could take that off if you wish. I believe she made one more just like this. Right here. Just a different patterned paper. See, it's the same thing. You just have this pattern paper. So here's your little journal with the coffee dyed paper, your little pouch, your little ephemera holder with the clear blue see-through, and then a whole bunch of little ephemera pieces and goodies in there. How beautiful would these be in your craft room? Just gorgeous, Lonnie. Oh, I forgot to put that in there. All right, so that's everything from Lonnie. She also sent me a little sweet thank you. Have an adorable little tag some Prima flowers and some botanical stickers. Definitely excited. Thank you, Lonnie, for sharing. I love it. And then I have just a few things. I have a bag of stitched paper ribbons, just assorted patterns. So it's kind of a grab bag. I think there's 25, but I will recount and put it in the listing. And the reason why I had all of these extra paper ribbons, I will show you in an upcoming video soon. I have a cool project using them 
that I'll have to show you soon. All right, then I have, this is a collaged journal cover. It is gorgeous. I love how it came out. It's just a stenciled interior. Um, it's meant for you to go ahead and sew your signature in, but look at all the little, I added all these little butterflies. There's wallpaper, music paper, scrapbook paper, digitals, cardstock. Isn't that neat? It was fun just using up all these little scraps and putting them together. So there's that. And then this set of journal covers is uh, pirate inspired. You can see the galleon there. This is from my romanticized pirates paper pack here, but um, I have gold sequins and you can see I've layered up other papers here. This is what the inside looks like St um, stamped. And then the, this one that goes with it has a pirate here on the spine. But there's beautiful peacocks as well. And again, those gold sequins and the inside. So you get the set of two. And they're inspired, pirate inspired, or maybe Halloween inspired. But they don't have to be. They're just pretty. All different gorgeous things collaged up. And... I kind of created a new flip book, um, at least nothing I've made before. I'm sure other people have made ones like it. I'm working on another um, one right now, but this one's done. So I'll list this one in the shop. And it was really fun to make. So we have a fabric cover. It opens like this. In on itself and closed. The front is a really pretty journal card that I had made. And it's a pocket. So as you open it, you have all of these are called, I think these are colorful lizards. They're from Vintage Image Club. And I have several of them in here printed on cardstock, ready to go in your nature journals. And again, you can tuck things in there. There's a little image from a book here on the back. And then there's two little pockets. And these are all fussy cut from... A wildlife book. There's turtles and moths and frogs and I think there might be a yeah I said moths. Bees, bugs, and so you can restock that if you wish. There's a little clear pocket here with ephemera. So there's a little journal label, some more frogs, some cut aparts, and a little stamp, a postage stamp there. This is all lined with hand dyed paper. There's a little bag here where you can store ephemera. Not at a good angle to pull out. Whoops. No, no, go back where you belong. And I have some hummingbird. These are also from Vintage Image Club, but I have some vintage hummingbirds in that little bag printed on cardstock. And then here's a belly band with a journal card. And I colored this, you know, one of those adult coloring books. I'd say Joanna Bassford, I think it is. Back with some hand dyed paper. We have a fabric hinge in the middle. Joanne made me this stamped fabric there. And then there's a little ladybug clip and there's a blue index card, a Rolodex card, and a little playing card. And then there's a little pocket here. So this is the negative of a heart die cut. And behind it is some inked semi-gloss paper that I've done. Put on a cute little uh, chipmunk. And then there's some tags in here. A hold tag and a little black tag. Again, this is like an ephemera holder. It's meant for you to fill up or to put with a journal or to give us happy mail. You could clip something back there if you wanted to. So this one is called Nature. And I'm working on another one. They take a little bit of time to put together, but so fun and so worth it. So that's everything today. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. Maybe it'll encourage you to make something new. Or of course, the shop's always open. Free shipping, don't forget that. And I'll see all of you next time.